Today is a big day as we're heading into the city of Antwerp to pick up Richard's new daily driver for 2023 and then driving it straight back to him in the UK. It will be a straight swap for the Hellcat and this new vehicle, in my opinion, is very Richard. So let's pick it up, get it back to him and see what he makes of it. Within moments of setting off, Belgium decided to send us a flurry of snow. One of these three cars will be driven by the boss over the next year. But before we reveal which one is Richard's, how have all of these cars that are bursting with American pride ended up here in the port of Antwerp in the first place. Well, the sponsor of today's video is the company that supplied us with the Hellcat, AEC. It is the chief importer of Dodge and Ram vehicles into Europe, allowing us to scratch the all-American itch through stuff like Dodge Challengers, Chargers, Durangos, and of course, the range of Ram pickup trucks. John Muratori is the COO at AEC, a man I had many questions for. John, thank you so much for inviting us to your workshop here in Antwerp. We've had so many questions about the whole process with our Dodge over our loan. So I guess my first question is, what is the state of play in Europe? How do you convince Europeans to switch from their Mercs and nowadays to these V8 700 horsepower beasts? Thanks, Mike. Really appreciate it. Um, you know, we're really proud to be the official importers of Dodge and Ram. Uh, and the opportunity to bring these beasts into Europe is a real privilege yeah, and honor. The biggest challenge actually for us is getting these customers to know yeah, that, the car, yeah, that they're yeah, available, yeah. that you can actually drive one of these incredible machines here. Yeah. So we're really grateful to you and Richard for the attention you've brought AEC and the AEC Charger Hellcat over the last couple of months. They're such special machines. It's a supercharger. I think that makes it just head and shoulders above all the other turbocharged stuff. It's visceral. Stuff. It's visceral. Yeah. It's like, I mean, really, it's so visceral. Yeah. Um, let's be honest. You have to be a bit mad to yeah. drive one of our cars Absolutely. in Europe, um, as you and Richard have found out over the last yes. couple of months and seeing parked here. I love the blue, by the way. For Thank the record, you. I will Thank say I love, I love the blue. Yes. Um, win. The cars are big, loud, emotional vehicles. Dodge in general is coming up to what we're calling the last call. Um, okay. 2024 will be the end of Dodge as we know it. Right, yeah. okay, so, that's a big deal. Uh, so it's a big deal. This year is really the last year that customers will have a chance to buy one of these incredible machines. Dodge and Ram will both go through uh, an evolution that the industry is going through, which is you know the evolution to electrification. Without giving anything away, everything that I've seen is very exciting mm -hmm. and I'm incredibly excited for what's in store. Okay, so what is the process? How do you get a Dodge from North America and import it into Europe? What's the process that's happening in this workshop? Yeah, absolutely. Let's say, hypothetically, a customer in the UK or Europe falls in love with the Charger Hellcat, uh, what they've seen on- As they should. Uh, as, as they should, on Drive Tribe. Yeah. Uh, the first thing we suggest they do is go to our website, aceurope.com where they can build and configure a car just like any other OEM website. So that's interesting. They can actually configure a car rather than just kind of take what's coming. Yeah, absolutely. So go to the website, kind of play around to the website, see what options are available. You can then, the really important step is find your closest dealer. We have over 150 dealers spread across Europe and the UK. Go book a test drive. All of our dealers have vehicles available for test drive, vehicles available in stock. Um, go visit that dealer. You're gonna meet really passionate Dodge and Ram dealers who can educate you about the vehicle, help you make a choice from a vehicle from stock, or if you decide to order a vehicle, that vehicle is built and manufactured in the US, and then AEC manages the importation of that vehicle to Europe, to this facility that you're in today. We handle the homologation, the conversion, 
uh, and all the logistics back to the dealer that the customer ordered the vehicle from. Okay, so guys, quick link in the description below. We'll put a link to the configurator and you can configure chargers, challengers, rams, whatever you want. So we've got these three cars here. You know which one Richard has chosen. What do you make of his choice? And you and I both know the car that he's chosen you literally can't get more American Absolutely. than the car that he's chosen. Yeah. I can't wait for him to get his hands on it and you know, hear that uh, schoolboy giggle as he peels out of his driveway in, uh, in this car. You know, he's had a lot of memorable dailies, but in my very biased opinion, this is gonna be the most uh, memorable yet. Okay, cool. Well, without further ado, let's reveal Richard Hammond's daily driver for 2023. Of course it's this one. I'm bringing Richard a Ram TRX. You could say this is the Hellcat of pickup trucks, mostly down to the fact that in there is the exact same 6.2 liter supercharged V8 as the Charger, although it's slightly detuned down to 707 horsepower. This thing totally dwarfs the Charger. It is enormous. Will it even fit on UK roads? Well, let's get it to the Euro Tunnel, over the channel and to Richard's place. Destination, ross on -Y. Play country and western. Sure, asking Spotify to play country's greatest hits. I'll do, thank you. We're on a boat, we're feeling fine. In our own honky tonk with a bottle of wine, we're going up, we're coming down. Cheers to feeling all right, it's a hell of a time. Oh, welcome. I'm gonna need a bigger yard. It makes my Land Rover look like a toy car. So, what do you think? I think you've overdone it. <laughs> look at it! Mike, I knew they were big. Yeah, a Ram TRX. Yes. As in literally Tyrannosaurus Rex. Because there's another company that does something called the Raptor. Yeah, that's because this is locked in Mortal Kombat with it in the States. Absolutely. So this is the answer to the Raptor, the T-Rex. So as you can see on the side there, 6.2-litre yeah. supercharger. So just about to see it that Pretty high. much the exact same engine that was in the Charger Hellcat. It's about 707. In a truck. Which is enough. It does weigh 2.4 tonnes. Yeah, but it'll hit um, 60 in... Well, uh, sub four. <laughs> Three something. Oh. Mate, it's, it's spectacular. So this is our truck for the next year. Oh. I imagine you're probably gonna have the keys. I might have a little go for a bit, if that's <laughs> all right. If I can have a little borrow. I'm, I'm just thinking there are places though where this won't fit. York, it wouldn't fit into York. What about your own archway? No, um, no, I don't think it will. Oh, can I have a look in it? Of course. Can I try it on? You know I'm not a particularly big bloke. That's this a, isn't helping. There's is a little step up for you there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, oh, you, we're going to have such fun. If you look down to the right, you'll see it has launch control. It's a truck. Just down there. Um, sorry for all my snacks in there, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> the Fernie effect. You're such a, tr you're such a tramp. 
But no, it's actually got quite a lot of kit in it. A lot of equipment for, for what it is. Yeah. Um, not quite your, your mark, but you know, it's decent. A nice big screen. Look at the size of the back! It's got more seat room in the back than my S-Class. Do you know what's my favourite thing? So you, you're... You were going to get another pickup before I brought this to the to the four. Yeah, and I'm going to have a play in this and one. And it was going to what one was it? What was the pickup you were going to get? I was thinking about a Raptor. Cool. So if you open the centre console there oh, as that... well, and you look down in there, you could fit my truck in there. You will see there's a scale <laughs> of what the truck looks like compared to a T-Rex <laughs> and also a Velociraptor. <laughs> also, you have all your trigonometry for your off-roading there. Oh, I'm going to consult that regularly, mate. Um, Can I just start it? Yes. Neutral is achieved. And then if you hold down that for five seconds. I have just been elevated to godlike status around these parts. <laughs> well, that's what I was thinking. Will you be, you know, the envy of all the local farmers or will you be seen as a massive prat? Oh, come on! If you think, right, across Herefordshire now, it's okay. only a small county, but it's very rural. There are hills and woods and fields. And if I do this, there are locals and farmers' heads snapping up to hear the call of it. Echoing around my little castle yard. It all the eyes zoo zoos and Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Shh, shh, calm down. Calm down. So another thing I like, pop the bonnet, it's just under there. So oh, I can't see in it, can I? There's a big ear. Oh, you might as well there. show me the roof of that. The Hellcat V8 is kind of in the side here, but my favourite thing on the entire truck kind of like inside as well. So again, you were going to get your Raptor. They've embossed a T-Rex eating yep. a Velociraptor. <laughs> How many other cars have got dinosaurs embossed on them? I love the childishness of it. That is just... Yeah, that's a heck of an engine. It's funny, that engine in the Charger looks big. Yes. It doesn't. It just disappears, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, when we popped it, we think, where the hell is it? Is this actually the V8? But yes, it's right in there. Still got the nice hemi orange yeah. heads on them. The, there's two things that have been specced. So there's the bull bar on the front. And then if we come right round the back. Oh, it's quite a walk. <laughs> your bed back here. It's got a nice oh, lovely. material on it so that nothing skids about. I've got a lot of crap in there. Yeah. I'll take all that out. Don't the worry. stuff at the front of the bed is going to have to stay there pretty much forever because... <laughs> you have to dive in after it, don't you? Yeah, it's a long way away. Well, it, it's got presents, hasn't it? So it's off-road suspension in this, isn't it? Full off-road suspension, yeah, off-road tyres, there's a whole load of modes you can muck around with It's inside. got active terrain dynamics. Yep, Bilstein suspension, also part of the homologation process um, because it's so tall. You need to be able to tell everyone how tall the vehicle is through these lights. Low flying aircraft and things can get yep, tangled up. In. Yep. Yeah, that's going to get um, some use. You're going to need to get used to opening yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, I had 14 to the gallon on the way back from Germany, but that was on the motorway. But on the plus side, from an ecological point of view, we've got to stop using fossil fuels eventually. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use it all up. Yeah, just so get then, rid we have, of them. then we have to go. One fell swoop. Gone. So, you know, everybody can drive electric cars because there's nothing else. Yes. Yeah. It's all gone in there. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Good. Oh, my, my little truck's hiding. It I mean, is it, cowering behind that container. I don't want to slag it off because it's been your workhorse. It's but brilliant. It's pathetic, frankly, <laughs> compared <laughs> to this. It's just not in the same realm at well, all. Yeah, I mean, it's a European truck, not a full-size American one. Right, well, this is going to be fun. Thank you. Welcome, my big friend. <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs>